Mazipa found Pastorius guilty of culpable homicide and the reckless endangerment of property and people after a gunshot went off in a restaurant. State prosecutor Harry Nell says Pastorius is a suicide and a flight risk. Clifford Gordon from CL Gordon Attorneys joins us in studio now. Good afternoon, Clifford, and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Thank you very much. Well, the judge grants a bail extension to Oscar uh, this <coughs> morning. What are some of the factors she would have taken into account? One would think that he sold off his last immovable uh, or fixed assets last week, so this would uh, make him um, uh, an increased flight risk. But clearly the judge didn't see it this way. Well, yes, um, uh, that's one of the factors that she would consider, whether it might be a flight risk, whether um, it's in the interest of justice to let him wind up his affairs before making a final determination on sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, in, another, in other words, to give him a month, uh, w if, if she were to consider a custodial sentence, just to give him a month to maybe put his affairs in order and, and go and, and yeah, make sure that everything was all right. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, he might need to sign documents in that uh, particular transfer where he sold his house. Mm -hmm. So if the transfers have not necessarily gone through yet, he still has those fixed assets. All right. Uh, it has been an incredible two days for the defense, though. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think Herinel is thinking now? Uh, will he go the appeal route in this case? We know that, uh, interestingly, it may be the state that appeals here. Uh, according to Section 310, it says the state can appeal if it feels the court was wrong in law. Well, yes, the, that is the case. If, um, if the state, fi if the state uh, studies the judgment mm. after, you know, af after today, obviously they'll go back and they'll read the full judgment and they'll have a look and see whether there was, a, uh, whether, whether there is, should I say, a uh, factual or, or illegal finding that they can challenge based on the ruling of Judge Masipa. And if, if in fact, especially on the issue of Dodis Eventualis, as we said earlier, mm. um, there might be some kind of legal uh, angle to attack that uh, and, and, and lodge an appeal if there is, uh, yeah, even if even if the uh, defence doesn't appeal. Mm. Uh, he is <coughs> guilty now of culpable homicide. What does this mean when it comes to intention and negligence? Well, um, direct it, it, negligence means a lesser degree of of intention. So, for example. A vehicle collision. Yes. If I take my eyes off the road for two minutes while I'm texting, that means I'm negligent. Mm -hmm. But if I see a pedestrian crossing the road and I decide to accelerate and actually hit that pedestrian, that's intention. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's, that's really the difference between, between negligence and, and direct intention. Uh, well, what does it mean for sentencing? And, and for sentencing, it would mean, um, well, let's put it this way, the maximum sentence on culpable homicide is 15 years. There is no minimum sentence, um, so it's it's quite possible that a, uh, a, s a sentence of, for example, five years or eight years or even 15 years might be imposed. It would just depend on the arguments presented to her on the 13th of October in, in mitigation or aggravation. So we are, are we looking at a situation where Oscar Pistorius might indeed get a reduced jail sentence or suspended a sentence? Well, certainly compared to a sentence he would have received for, for murder, he, he's, he's getting a lesser sentence. Mm. But whether the judge takes into account the seriousness of the offence and other factors. Um, he may, there, there may be a suspended sentence of some kind, but we'll obviously, it, to speculate now would be, uh, would be speculation mm -hmm. indeed. So mm -hmm. we'd have to have a look and see what factors are presented to the judge in that regard. Uh, Oscar got off the murder charge. He's definitely going to sleep better tonight. Take us through the judge's reasoning. Why did she reject those murder charges? Well, uh, she stated um, that the state didn't present sufficient evidence of Oscar's intention at the time of his uh, shooting through the toilet door. And in taking the evidence of Oscar himself into, his, uh, into account as to what his intention was, uh, f you cannot really infer from the circumstances anything else other than his intention that he stated because he was the only person there who can tell us what his intention was. Mm. So in those circumstances, I believe her, her verdict was correct. And this is a trial for the murder of Riva Steenkamp and not somebody, anybody or an intruder behind the door? Well, yes. In the, at the end of the day, Riva Steenkamp was the person who died in the, in, in, in the incident. Mm. And, um, but, but, but 
Oscar's, Oscar's testimony, mm. basically. He uh, stated, and he repeatedly stated, and he never changed his version, mm. that he believed there was some kind of intruder. And it's very, very difficult, based on those facts, to interpret it any other way for, for a judge. Thank you so much for your time on the PM News Desk, Clifford. So uh, Clifford Gordon from CL Gordon Attorneys joining us there. Time to take a look now at uh, some of your tweets. And of course, social media has been a buzz uh, with what become the most sensationalized uh, criminal trial of the century. Well, Londi Wemositu, SABC News Online, says, what justice is their family getting out of all of this? Mawanda is saying, I'm not happy at all with this culpable homicide. I say that at least he is guilty of something that he might spend some years in jail. Malibongwe is saying the NPA must do what they're supposed to do. Trevor saying, don't they have a right to appeal? They are disappointed because they did not win the case. Wasn't it their duty to prove? And Michelle saying, I agree, very disappointed. Masipa says she doesn't believe he was telling the truth, but that doesn't prove he is guilty.